Kim from BizLab Online and welcome to video number five of our free Gmail training series. Now in this video, what I wanna do is to show you how you can actually jazz up the emails that you are sending with a bit of formatting. So I've got a draft email open here and what I wanna do is bring you right down to the left hand corner to this A button which is the formatting options. So let's click that and you will see that we're given a toolbar very similar to what you might use in Word or Open Office. So I'm gonna go through and pretty up this email. Now my cursor is sitting right to the left of Hello Bull. So if I just highlight that text, I can come down here and I can change the font type. So I might make that to be Tahoma. And while it's highlighted, I might come to this B here and bold it. Now I can come down here, place my cursor just before the J in the word just, highlight that text, come down, change the font again to Tahoma and I might like to make that italic so come down and click the I for italic and then I've got a few bullet points here but you can also see in the toolbar that there are several formatting options here for bullet points there is a numbered list and then there is a bulleted list so I'll just change that to a bulleted list and I might change that font type again to go with Tahoma. And I might change the font color. Now you've got the two options here. You can add a background color or you can change the text color. So I might change the text to red. And then down here is my auto signature. Now there are a couple of really cool things that you can do here. I'll just highlight my name here. I'll make that italic and I'll make that bold. But what I want to bring you down to is the URLs that I have here. These are URLs to my websites. And if you are using email and email marketing, it's a great traffic strategy to drive traffic to your websites but there's a little tweak we can do a little bit more here what I want to do is highlight this URL I'm going to come down here and I'm going to insert a link and you can see here it's already there but what I want to do is just show you something really sweet so if I go change you can see here is the website URL, but watch what I can do here. I can simply put, please visit, if I can type, our website. Let's just go OK, click away, and you can see here that the URL has gone and we have clickable text. So when somebody gets this email, and they thought, okay, yes, I need to visit their website. They can come down here and they can click on this text and it will take them directly to our website. Now, if I want to go back and just change it to the way it is, I'll come back down to the hyperlink. I'll click it. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted to, just bear with me. Let's insert a link. Let's take that out delete that and put back in our URL right here can't type this afternoon let's go OK and there we are the URL is there I'm going to hyperlink this link here come down insert a link let's change that here it is here we can go OK we can also test the link, okay? And then, 
down the bottom here if you do have some form of disclosure I could simply come here and change that text color to be red come back here change it back to black change it to green not that you can see that change that back to black basically anything that you want to do so it's a great way to format your emails that you are sending in the next video we're actually going to take a look at attachments but just another little quick thing here if this was to be just a very generic friendly email not to a professional if you come down here you can insert emoticons and here are a lot that you can play with but I would suggest if you are sending a professional email please keep the emojis out that's a wrap for video number five I will see you over in video number six where we're going to work with attachments see you there